and I I modeled uh, two pairs of leggings and three shirts, and basically he you know he let me keep the merchandise to model it. Yeah, I think and, I've um, seen that. I've also done I've also done some promotions for um, um, a new vodka. Hello. Hello. I think the call got dropped. <laughs> no, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you now. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, well, the last thing I was saying was I I promoted uh, virus vodka. Um, yeah, I've seen that. I've so seen that. I, I I do promotions like that too, and I do go go dance. I I've gotten a couple go go dancing gigs, and really that's. That's it. I, I oh I also I promote for vape companies like um I've just my friend here Mad Mike Mad Mike that's what he goes by uh, he sent me two vape juices and basically I just modeled some pictures with the juices and that's how he's getting his promotions from me too and there's a, there's another vape company that's supposed to send me juices too so I really just kind of um bounce around. You know, I do all sorts of do stuff. Do it all. There's um, no I limits. I get paid sometimes. <laughs> sometimes I get paid in merchandise. I've been in a few music videos. Really? Been in a few music videos, but um, those those are like real small music videos in Corpus, and uh, I kind of, they kind of got lost. I don't really remember where they're at. <laughs> <laughs> you you got you got quite a portfolio. I I, I didn't know it was that serious, and um. I yeah, like and well, before all this, before all this, I I I was in pageantry. I did a lot of pageants oh. and, um, from like the age of like three to twenty, and I've been I've been dancing and all that kind of stuff since then too. So, I'm a, I mean, I, I'm a dancer as well. But um, once I started getting tattoos, is when I really got into more of this alternative style of modeling, freelance modeling, and stuff like that. Man, what kind of dance but is it that you I do? Was, Dancing, oh, it, it's all kinds. I mean, when I was younger, I started with like tap and ballet, and then I got into hip hop, and then I became a cheerleader, and I got into cheerleading type dance. And I mean, I've done I've done yeah, dancing, I've done African dancing, modern dance, and I, I go go dance. Right now, mostly, kind of what I do is go go dancing, but that's like at like. Uh, you know, bars or clubs, you know, when they hire dancers for, um, you know, like parties. Like I recently did, a, it was a black and white affair and it was me and another girl. We were just, we just go-go dance the whole night. It was kind of like an entertainment thing. Really? Okay. That's, that's cool. Like I, I admire that. You have, you have a lot under your belt. <laughs> like the little yeah, Rosalind. Yeah, I do a lot of stuff. <laughs> the little Rosalind Gomez that I know is not so little anymore. <laughs> but, um. Yep, I'm trying to, trying to do something with myself. Yeah, but with that. I got that, too much talent to let it go away. Exactly. What, what got you started? Like, what, was it your parents that put you inside of the pageantry, or is it something that you always wanted to do? Did you know that this? Well, my parents, my parents put me in pageants and stuff, and I, I enjoyed it though, or else, you know, they would have pulled me out. Like dressing but, up? Um, I always, I always wanted to be somebody, somebody, at least somebody, even if it's just somebody like, in Corpus, because I have people in Corpus, like, I'll go to a rock concert, or I'll beat them all, and people in Corpus will just come up to me, but they'll be like, you're Roz Monster, right? And I'm like, yeah. Or like, I see you on Facebook, I follow your modeling posts, and like, I've even been asked a couple times to have a picture with somebody, and it, I mean, it makes me feel like a little celebrity or whatever, but right. I, that, I've always watched, I always wanted people to know me, and know who I am, and know my name, and I've I've been working. I've been doing this uh, this side thing where I cosplay as Queen Elsa. I know it sounds really weird, but um, I sing her songs and stuff like that. I'm not the best singer whatsoever. So you <laughs> partake in singing as well, huh? So you partake in singing as well. Yeah, I mean, I sing with the music, but. I I have done every I, I do karaoke of course when I go out to the bars or whatever but 
I did do an open mic night one night. I it was very it was a little nerve wracking because singing is a little bit out of my out of my territory. But um, I have a music friend. She goes by Miss J Dynasty. You can find her on Facebook. She is an amazing artist and producer, and she's just really good. She sings R and B, but she can rap and she can produce and she can do all that kind of stuff. And me and her have been talking about getting me on some sort of musical level because I, I was a music major in, in college and I played the flute. So I have an ear for music. It's just I need to make I need to learn my voice. I need to I need to learn how to sing. Right, basically, right. Basically and sing so, right. Um, it's the same thing as learning how to play the flute, which is my instrument. My instrument's the flute. I'm basically just changing instruments and since I've been doing this cosplay as Elsa, I've been singing these, you know, four or five songs over and over, I've gotten to the point where I can almost have it perfected, you know, but that's because I've been, wor- I've been working on that since October, but I definitely, like, I definitely have an open door to, to music. I love music. I love dance. I would say if I were to go into the music industry in any way, uh, I would be, a, I would be more perf- a performer than an artist. Like I would probably have to have someone write the music for me and you know it, it would be that sort of thing you know and mm. basically any other kind of like a little pop star you know what i'm saying yeah so um yeah if somebody else is somebody else would do all the work for me i'm just i'm just the person that does it right you know what i'm saying yeah, that's usually how it how it is. It's like you got all these different people. That's why I'm trying you promote, but I'm you know how it goes. <laughs> but um Yeah. 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 Um, I mean, cause, I mean there could be somebody out there that can write, you know, they can write music and whatnot and but they can't sing, you know? Right, right. So Right. That's that's kind of if, if anywhere into music and I'm thinking about it, that's the way that I would have to it because I'm not. I mean, I can, I can, I can write you a, I can write you an essay on on a piece of literature, but not too good with the popular <laughs> songs and stuff like that. Right. Um, what is your um? What are your influences? Yeah. Inspiration. Excuse me. What's that? What are your influences or your inspiration? To to do what? It My is? inspiration. Influences. Well, um, I don't really know how to answer that question. I mean, I like. Is, is it? Is it? Is it like like famous people? Well, as influences, like um, what 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 in like what inspires you or what makes you? Is it a certain style? Like, is it something? Is it? Clothing? Is it like music that inspires you to be who you are? Or would it what you do, like modeling and singing? Oh, like you just it's drawn everything. to these things. It's okay. definitely it's definitely everything, and on top of that, it has a lot to do with um, where I live. I mean, I live in Aransas Pass. Right. And, I know there's not a lot much I going like, on out there. Yeah, <laughs> and my, my whole almost my whole life, people have been telling me, you know, you're not ever really going to make anywhere. Just make something, make this your hobby. And, you know, if I don't get anywhere, that's fine. I have a big portfolio to look back on because technically I, I am somewhere now. Yeah. But just making it big and all that, you know, that just pushes me to go, you know, it just pushes me harder. That and the fact that um, a lot of people told me my modeling career is going to be over whenever I'm on the bar. Whenever oh. what? Hold on, hold on. You got to say that again. You were, you were kind of cutting out. I did. A lot of people told me my modeling career was going to be over when I had my daughter. Oh. You know? Yeah. Because I, I will, I will, she's going to be one next month, but she is, she doesn't hold me back. In fact, she, she inspires me a lot because I want her to know, like, if you have dreams, you should chase them. You know, and I take care of my daughter, you know? Exactly. I do. I, I take care of her to the fullest. She, I'm the only one she has, but. I still push myself and I push myself to have make make that extra time to do these extra things because whenever she's older and she picks up the magazine I'm published in, 
she can say I was, you know, I was four months old whenever this magazine came out, you know? Right, right. And my mom's in it. You got it like my a history. Like, you got a history, really. You established a history within a society. And that's good. And she could say, hey, look, this is my mom's magazine. And this is what she did for me. Right. <laughs> you know? But um, with that being said, what are, what are your favorite um, photos or photo shoots or your favorite piece of yours? Piece of work that you created, produced. What's your What's your favorite piece that you've done? That's That's really really hard, and that's because the answer is it hasn't happened yet. It's a hard It's a hard question. It, it hasn't happened yet. Um, I can tell you right now is if we're talking to the past. I think my favorite piece of the work was probably I had this one headshot and I was actually pregnant during the shoot. I had this one headshot that Tanya Peel with Beauty and Chaos Imaging. She took she she took that photo of me and shot. Or it's just well, it's one of my favorite modeling photos of me. Um you know, my favorite is soon to come because I'm always going to continue to get better. You right. understand what I'm trying to say? Yeah, yeah. And just you proved everyone wrong yeah. that said that that when you were pregnant that your modeling career was going to be over. You basically proved them wrong, and you took your most pride possession shot when you were in fact pregnant. Yeah, that's right. I did, and then that's what that's my I got that's my favorite shot so far. But I mean. And there's still more to come. There's I've, and I've done a lot. I've done a lot since I've had my baby. I've done a lot. <clears throat> In fact, all four of my publications didn't happen until after I had my child. So, kind of, right. kind of funny how it works. But yeah. and I'm working on more for this year because they those were all in 2014. I'm working on more for this year uh, as far as modeling, but. Yeah, there's a lot of other things. Right. So, um, with that being said, okay. what, um, what do you feel like your art says to the people, or your work says to the people? Honestly, uh, to, to the people that I have right now, I think it says to them that you, you know, people can hold you back because. I've had a lot of uh, negativity thrown at me throughout these years regarding my modeling, and I've I've been and despite all that, I'm still doing what I'm doing. Like I've I've probably said that I was going to quit about six times in the last three years. You know, completely quit modeling, and I I haven't. I still haven't because there's always I don't know. There's just always something inside of me. And it's mainly the people, and, and I have those few people that will tell me just one simple thing, one simple line that will tell me, you know what, F all these other people that are talking crap, I'm still going to do what I love to do. Because honestly, I can't go but like a week or two without doing the photo shoot. <laughs> right, right. Or at least picking up a camera, right? You know, I, I take a picture of myself every day. I don't right, have right. to lie about it. Right. I do. <laughs> right. And it kind of got a, like a craze now. It's like the selfie craze. So it's like you you take pictures as well, right? You do photography? Well, I, I play around with it. But it's mostly like nature. I do mostly like nature shots. And I take, I take pictures of my daughter. That's about it. So at but, the most, um, when you take pictures of yourself, you just do like iPhone selfies, or yeah, right, right, their right. They got a pretty decent camera, um, but um, what, <laughs> what do you, what do you feel like your art says to you? I, it, it's a sense of accomplishment. It makes me feel very accomplished whenever, whenever I. <clears throat> I'm sorry, uh, you, you're kind of breaking Bob up. Williams. Hello? You were, yeah, you were kind of breaking up. So, um, what did you say again? I'm sorry. Um, uh, uh, 
it, 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 it's a sense of accomplishment, more. Um, a friend of mine, Caitlin, her name's Caitlin, me and her, we, I mean, we, a whole day, it was like a whole day that we did this, because we had, you know, we, we did a photo shoot in the concept of fire and ice. So we went and got our bodies painted, and we went out and we bought fabric. And we met the photographer, which was Tom Williams. Um, we met him here at my house. Cause I have a pool. My parent, well, my parents. I should say my parents. My parents have a pool. And we did like a fire and ice in the water type of photo shoot. And it was very, very, very cold. But um, <laughs> it was a very, very, very long day. It was a very long day. We had to go get our makeup done. And it wasn't just regular beauty makeup. I mean, we were getting painted. And then we had to get our hair done. We had to go find our our material to wear. And then we had to come for the shoot. We had to do the shoot. And there was two of us. So we had to do shots together. And we had to do shots separately. We, and then we got in the water. And the water was freezing. And... When the photos come out, and he's still working on them because I think he's gonna um, try to submit those for a publication for a visual art magazine. It's a really nice magazine. I've been published. That was one of the ones I've been published in. But um, he had set out one of the photos, and when I seen it, it just it was beautiful. I was fire, and she was ice. So I was painted all orange, red, yellows, and she had the blues and the purples and the white. And together, it just it it was a it was, it's a piece of art and right there it's just like it made that long hectic day like it just, it made it turn it into a, an accomplishment and and if they do and like I we do have plans we do have plans with those photos to submit them to publication and if they do make it into the magazine that right there is like an even bigger goal that we accomplished and. That's really what my art says to me. And, you know, if I've been shot down plenty of times by magazines, by magazines, and um, also by, like, um, a talent agency, too. They right. shot me down. But, I mean, I mean, what can you do? You know, you just got to keep trying. And that was one of the times when I almost didn't want to even model anymore. But then I kind of got bored with myself. Right, right, <laughs> and right. And I'd do a photo shoot again. And then I just, yeah, I kind of got back into the groove of things, and here I am. I'm Have you um tried like uh just, any like uh, ink magazines companies? Uh, well, the magazines that I've been published in, um, one of them is called Visual Artistry, and Cynthia Mack was the photographer was actually the one that got us got us published in it. The other one's Jinx Alternative Lifestyle. This one is out of Canada and um, it's an alternative magazine. There's all different types, you know, crazy clothing, um, tattoos, all sorts of stuff. Uh, Delicious Dolls, this one's based in um, out of uh, out of Texas. This is based out of Texas. Delicious Dolls is a pinup, but I was uh, published in the in the tattoo edition number two, and then this magazine right here is called the Petite Alternative. That one's out of New York. I was published in that one. So the ones I they that I've been published in that I published myself in that I I sent them in was the Petite Alternative, the Delicious Dolls Tattoo Edition, and the Jinx Lifestyle. Those are real alternative magazines. While the Visual Artistry, this one is out of um, Virginia, the yeah. Visual Artistry magazine. The photographer submitted those photos, but it's more of like it's more of like art is what it is, right. rather than a like kind of alternative fashion or tattoos. Yeah. But um, so I, you know, it's kind of across the board. I've been in two alternative. And I've been in a tattoo. It's also a pinup too, and I love pinup photography. And then I've been in like an art magazine. Yeah, that's that's real good. That's very versatile. I mean, I really don't know how the modeling industry goes, but I'm interested in getting to know 
you know, um, do you partake in any, like, there's no, like, runways, or how do you, how do you uh, approach that to do runway, or are you interested in doing it? Oh, I can't do runway. I'm very short. Oh, so that's a height I'm requirement. Very short. Yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm interested in print modeling, because, because I'm a short person. You have to be a certain, you have to be a certain height for runway. Like fashion shows. And you can even actually be, you yeah, you can actually even be too uh, tall. But I mean, fashion shows and stuff like that. They have local fashion shows where they're not like really particular on the height or whatever. And I, I've never done one, but I would definitely be interested in doing one. That would be really fun. But uh, as far as professionally, I I know that uh, I think mean, I'm five foot. I know it's I think it's like five. Fit, you have to be five, six or taller, and then like you can't be over like six something. I don't know. Don't don't quote me on that. I don't really. I just know I don't. I don't meet those requirements. I'm a shorty. <laughs> but I, I like print modeling. Is what I like. I like print modeling, which is basically what I'm doing. Right. Yeah, and I, I've come across some of your work. I like what I've seen. It was very versatile. And the one that you did for the uh, vodka, what 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 kind of vodka was it again? Oh, virus vodka. That is just uh, it's a it's a new vodka. It's just still six times like your gray goose and your syrup only just still five. This is just still an extra time. It's gluten free. It's kosher certified. It's uh, let's see, it's like pretty much organic. Gluten free is what gets a lot of people. It goes down really really smooth, and it's only sixty four calories a uh, an ounce. I mean, it's a good vodka, and I. I uh, I got a call from this. I'm in this little talent thing, and, they, and basically they call you if they need you for promotional work like that. And what I did was I went and I sat. It was during spring break. I sat at the liquor store with a little display table, and I was basically what I had to do. It was they gave me like a temporary credit card number, and I bought the vodka and I bought the uh, the mixer like cranberry and I put it in a chiller but chill when customers would come in I would tell them you know would you like to sample my vodka and then I would tell them about the vodka and uh, I made I made a I want to say 13 sales total out of the three promotions that I did but I sold maybe it was 14 I don't know I know I sold I sold 12 bottles one day on during spring break right that's, by, that's, by my promotion, so yeah, that's really decent. Any um events or projects that you have coming up in the near future that you wanna? Um, not really. I mean, I I kind of really just go with the flow. I go with, with the, the flow on a lot of things. I live. I I really. Um, I mean, I have a schedule. When I when there is something that needs to be scheduled, I schedule it down. But other than that. If I don't have like, if I don't have anything to do, I if someone says, "Hey, let's do a photo shoot," or "Hey, are you available for the shoot today?" Yeah. I usually can do it. But um, I live I live day to day. To be honest, it's mainly because I have a little girl, you know. Yeah, yeah, so, most definitely. So now we have a a, yeah. a very versatile artist that has a very large portfolio that has phenomenal work and is obvi obviously on the up and coming the rise right before her very eyes in a very small town of Aransas you know kind of setting a trend into what she's doing um is available f where can the people contact you if they want to get a hold of you uh I have a Facebook page um if you search Roz Monster, um, there will be two pages that will come up. One is a personal page, but one is a fan page. And that one is www.facebook.com slash Roz Monster Models. All one word. And Roz got two Z's in it, so it's R-O-Z-Z -Z Monster Models. Or, I mean, honestly, I don't have my phone number on there, but if they need me for, like, but most most of the time, I get in contact with people through the internet right. and through my email. Your email and um, 
I'll be putting that in the links below the video. So, um, it was it was not, it was nice talking to you and um, getting yeah, getting sure. to know a little bit more about you and uh about like uh, uh Tanya Pill or anybody J Dynasty if you if they would like a free review or an interview it's free you know it's an exposure through through my contacts and my people as well so um if they yeah. if you know if you know anyone that might be interested this is a support base a support foundation to where you know unheard talent can be exposed right all right so um it was nice talking to you i hope you have a a, a beautiful day hello yeah yeah i said it was nice talking to you i hope you have a good day Okay, anything else or just, you know, get back with me whenever yeah, you, you want to, whenever you need to. Yeah, I'll be uh, in contact with you and you can contact, reach me at my email address as well. Okay. Or awesome. you can hit me up Thank on you. Facebook as well. I, I'm on Facebook. I don't, it's PJ Reckham. You'll see me on there. Um, but I'll, okay. I'll, I'll send you a message. Alrighty, alrighty. Thank you. Alright, cool. Bye. Bye-bye.